Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Sense. Hopefully you're doing well. Let's talk about some value buys. Talking about fragrances that give you a lot of bang for your buck. Fragrances that you could get in and not even love, but then you just think to yourself, I just like 20 bucks, whatever. Hard to do that when you buy a really super expensive fragrance, you spend two, three, four hundred dollars or more, then you get it in and smell it and don't like it. At that point, it takes a little piece of your soul. If nothing else, you buy one for 20, 25, something like that, you don't like it, gift it to someone else. That's a pro tip. So let's jump into it. Let's check these out. First up, Cavalli Womo Silver Essence. Now this one's a little tricky dicky because sometimes it's available at this counter, sometimes it's not. It's one of those fragrances, really one of those houses that you can never really count on to be there when you need it at a steep discount. And I have a feeling that these Cavalli Womo fragrances are gonna be harder and harder to find as time goes on, because if you look at their releases like La Note and Deep Desire, which are both really good, those are pretty much impossible to find anymore. Thankfully, Silver Essence does pop up from time to time, and as of this video, it is available for somewhere around $30, something like that. This one is sweet, it's spicy, a little bit aromatic, floral touch to it as well, and it smells great. It's a surprisingly huge compliment puller with great versatility. You've got cardamom, ginger, tonka, and orris root, along with a little bit of lavender, a little bit of violet leaf as well. And it's not that I ever dislike this fragrance, but man, it's a grower. You know what I mean. Get your head out of the gutter. I mean, you wear it once and you think this is pretty nice. Wear it again. You like it a little more. Wear it again. You like it a little more. Each time. I've said it before, but this Cavalli Womo line is very solid. It's a bummer that it's completely overlooked and basically on death's door at this point. I wish that they would kind of revive the line, come out with some new flankers and maybe start putting these out there again. But I don't know that's going to happen. Now a cheapy brand that I haven't talked about enough lately. Used to be the talk of the town, you know? It was the bee's knees, it was the cat's titties. I don't think that's how it goes. Everybody was talking about them, everybody was loving them, and now they just kind of have been forgotten. They've not hit you with any new releases, you know? And when that happens, people forget and they move on. It's Ferrari and it's Radiant Bergamot. All their money is going into F1 race car development. None of it's going into fragrance development. Honestly though, Ferrari, where did you go? They haven't had a new release since 2017. This one came out in 2016, and I can remember when it was brand new. People were hyped for it. Now this is gonna blow your mind right out your backside, but one of the main notes in Radiant Bergamot it's bergamot. We've also got lemon, ginger, nutmeg, and moss as some of the other notes in the fragrance. It's gonna get you pretty close to Aqua de Parma's Colonia. So you could think of it in a way as a much more affordable, more approachable Aqua de Parma. Also not a surprise, but this is a great springtime fragrance. I mean, that green coloration, they're letting you know what this is for. Daytime, casual, or office wear, fantastic scent. Very classy as well. Much higher quality than you'd expect for that price point because this is one of the cheapest ones we're gonna talk about today. Now we got a fragrance from a house that I think consistently delivers good fragrances for good prices if you're shopping at discounters, not at full retail. It's Zaro Chrome Extreme. Frankly, an awesome scent for the price point. Fantastic quality here. The 50 mil is the way to go. Nice and cheap. C notes, juniper, cashmere, and, and mandarin orange, some of the notes in the fragrance. It's gonna get you pretty close to Aqua de Jo Profondo. To an extent, a discounted version of Profondo. But this is good enough to stand on its own. It's a very solid fragrance. It's got that versatility in spades also. You can wear this stuff just about anywhere, anytime, and the performance is good too. Love the green mandarin in the opening. Really draws your attention. It's got that wow factor when you first spray this on. And that's something that can kill off a blue style fragrance or a fresh style fragrance immediately. If the opening isn't attention grabbing enough, a lot of people will just write it off right away. This one's gonna cover pretty much all your bases. Chrome Extreme, fantastic scent for the price. Like I said, it's RO in general is that type of house where you definitely want to watch what they're doing. You want to see what they're coming out with because when those hit discounters, if it's a solid one, you're going to want to go ahead and pick it up. They don't always have solid fragrances. Some of them are complete trash, but the good ones at the prices they go for when they're discounted are always a good buy. From one extreme to another, Davidoff Cool Water Ocean Extreme. The Cool Water flankers in general 
don't get talked about unless it's maybe cool water intense or cool water parfum you know those might get talked about but those yearly limited edition flankers typically people don't care about them and that's what this is a limited edition which you can still find pretty easily which is funny because it was limited and it came out in 2016 but there's still enough of them out there to go around this one has mint, juniper, lavender, sea notes, and seaweed as some of the notes in the fragrance. Very aromatic, very fresh. You could actually think of this uh, like taking the original cool water and then melding it together with Bulgari Aqua or Aquamarine. Almost this fusion of those two lines put together, that's what you're gonna get with Ocean Extreme. So I guess the name does make sense then. Ocean Extreme, you get that, that seaweedy sort of feel, a touch of that oceanic vibe here instead of just going full on fresh and green. And that twist is actually pretty unique and interesting smelling. So if you're a fan of those two lines or one of those lines, this one is worth checking out. We've mainly been talking about freshies, so how about a couple that aren't super duper fresh? First up, M from Perry Ellis. What a great name, M. This one has vanilla, tonka, cinnamon, and star anise, and it does smell similar to a much, much, much more expensive fragrance, which is Chanel's Allure Ohm. Very nice, sweet, and spicy. This is a cozy, sexy scent. It's one of those fragrances that people in the community have known about for years upon years upon years and talked about for just as long, but most people outside the fragrance community don't really know about it, unless maybe they specifically searched up cheap Chanel Allure Ohm alternatives or something, because then this will be the first thing that pops up. The presentation, you know, it leaves a bit to be desired. I think it's uh, pretty turdy looking. Not really a fan of that at all. But it's one of those deals where it doesn't really matter because you're going to spray this on and you're not going to wear the bottle around. So it doesn't really matter that the box is super cheap or the tube is super cheap. Wonderful fragrance, though. Amazing bang for your buck. Perry LSM is one of those scents that really you can throw into your cart at any time just as an add on if you're shopping for other things. Now, a long time love of mine, a fragrance that I've talked about for years and I will continue to talk about as long as you can actually find the stuff. Varvados Vintage. Something about this is very comforting and yet at the same time, very enticing. Tobacco, suede, rhubarb, cinnamon, pepper, quince. There's a lot of notes. A little tiny touch of fruit in the opening, not too much. Little bit of sweetness there. Actually more sweetness coming out from the spice as the fragrance dries down. Then of course that woody suede and tobacco mix in the base smells amazing. Probably going to appeal a little bit more to guys 30 years of age and older, but it smells awesome. It's probably my favorite Varvados fragrance that they've ever released. The only drawback with this one, and I've said this a million times, is the performance maybe could be a little bit better, but to be honest, I don't really care because it's not that expensive and it smells amazing, so I don't mind to douse myself in the stuff. And sometimes maybe you just want something that lays a little bit closer to the skin. You want a more subtle fragrance, and it'll do that really well. Last up, my newest pickup from everything in this list. It is I'm Not a Good Boy. I hate the name. I think the presentation is really cheap looking. And I pointed this out in the video uh, where I checked this out for the first time. The font on the front here, the text, it's in brown and then the fragrance is brown. So you can't really read it. It's so poorly thought out. <laughs> and then the cap is really bad, about as bad as you'll ever see. Now onto the good things. It's about $20, so crazy cheap and it smells very similar to Dior Sauvage. Now it's important that I say that it's not a poor emulation of Dior Sauvage, because there are a lot of those. You can find those pretty easily, both from clone houses and also from other designers. This one's not as metallic as Dior Sauvage. It's lacking, you know, that peppery bite that Dior Sauvage has. Instead, you have more of a concentration on fruit in the opening here, and actually a bit of a twist with the touch of tobacco in the dry down. Overall though, if you're looking for a very affordable take on Dior Sauvage and you don't want to go with one of the Armoff versions, this is going to be your best bet. So guys, there you go. Seven different fragrances that are value buys, each one of them a great choice. A little bit of something for everybody here. Some cooler weather scents, some warmer weather scents, the whole shebang. As always, I want to thank you guys for hanging with me till the end here. Thank you for all your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.